Hey everyone, Ken Surf's here, and we're back in the shade again. Wow, what a few weeks, right? What a few days makes. I tell you, uh, last Thursday I was uh, planning on Disneyland on Monday and movies, and wow, everything shut down here in California. Uh, the bars are shut down today in California, or you know, these days in California. Restaurants are shut down all over the world. Bottom line, we're gonna do a shave, but stay safe, all right? Take your precautions, keep your six feet away, wash your hands. I've washed my hands so much, and I, wow. What is the gold? Oh, here's the gold currently. Gold. <laughs> Not on the shelves, man. Isotropyl alcohol and hand sanitizers, Purell, pure gold these days. If you have it, uh, they're selling them for like these little bottles, 10, 15 bucks on eBay. Uh, oh my God. People are speculating. Stay well, everybody. Stay, do what they say. Wash your hands. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get started. I'm going to be uh, trying a new soap today from the good folks at Heritage Hill Shave Company. And these products are handcrafted in the USA. I'm opening this up. Nice. Oh, man, nice packaging for soap. Very, very nice packaging. This one is Independence Hall. It's a nice hard soap, and they leave enough room that you can use your brush inside the container. This is cedarwood, frankincense, and patchouli scent. And if you can tell, I need it. I, I can tell you how the week went. Thursday, things were still open. I mean, COVID-19 or the coronavirus was out there, but, you know, things were still going good. It was raining in Southern California, raining like a mother. I had wore my suit to work. I had a lunch meeting, and uh, we we're meeting with some consultants. So I was dressed up, raining like hell. I had to go to the dermatologist who got me pretty good. Got me all over it. Raining. I'm driving the state vehicle from the office back to the yard where I have to leave it to pick up my personal car. One mile and a half from the state office. Blowout. Second blowout in my life. Left rear. City street. Coming down. Coming down. Pull into the parking lot. Figure, hey, you know what? I got an umbrella. I'll change this flat. Open up the back of the state vehicle. <sighs> no spare. Probably cost an extra 20 bucks. Can of uh, sealant, which just flowed out all over the uh, all over the parking lot in the rain. But uh, they came and towed it away. I got an Uber. I made it to my doctor's appointment. They went nuts. And I'm able to shave again. I'm going crazy. I shaved once on Saturday with a sensor excel and i kind of just went around all these wounds they gave me so today it's driving me crazy i'm going to use the uh r41 mula r41 with the most aggressive blade i know the feather because this is just absolutely driving me nuts i need to get this uh this off i'm leaving the goatee i think i told you i'm leaving the goatee because there's going to be some razors coming to the ken surf shaved in in the near future that I want to try removing the goatee with. So we will definitely, I'm getting this blade out of here, we will definitely, got to be careful. There we go. Mula R41. Someone asked, can you go back to some of the higher end razors? Start doing the uh, shaves with the higher end stuff instead of the cheaper ones. And in my opinion, the Good entry-level razors, you know, they go up into $25, $30 range. You know, I, I like my uh, Mercure 34C. It's about $25, $30. Bucks. This one, $50, bucks, a little bit north of $50, bucks, depending what you get. I like them, so I have the two handles, the rose gold and then the regular handle. Then you get over 90 bucks and you start to get your upper end razors like the Rockwells, this, that, and the other. But I'm going to use this today. So I do, I was spending yesterday evening catching up on comments. And 
And I think I've got the, most of the comments taken care of. Somebody asked, hey man, can you use the Mueller silver tip fiber again? I read your comment, my friend. Here we go. It's a synthetic fiber. Really nice uh, brush from the good folks at Mueller. Somebody must have saw this on my shelf in a previous video and they said, hey, can you bring out that British sterling from the back shelf there? Now there's no British sterling on there anymore. This was actually taken down, but this used to be on the shelf. So I will be using that. All right. And since I've got such a scruffy uh, beard going, I'm gonna use some Parasso pre-shave. I think we've got that covered. Whew. Welcome guys. So much to talk about. So little time. Oh, man, they're shutting everything down. And you know what? There's doctors guiding the government, telling them what to do. Listen to them. Better safe than sorry. It could be much worse. Could be worse? How? Could be raining. got the crazy masks. I was going to actually wear one, have the face shield on it, but my wife goes, that might look like you're poking fun at the situation. And I'm not. I have that. And I wear them when I'm out in public because about a month ago, before this got crazy, I think I told you, I went to the movie theaters with my brother. I was, he was sitting on my left. There was a lady on my right. They were both coughing and I just got over that stupid cold and I caught it again. So had I had a mask on, maybe I wouldn't have caught it. I don't know. I'm not taking any chances. And neither should you. Everything's shutting down. I was going to do a St. Patrick's Day shave yesterday. All the bars in California are closed. In fact, I've got a friend, Bradley, whose wife's birthday, Janine. Her birthday was yesterday, uh, St. Patrick's Day in Texas. I hope you got to go out and celebrate your birthday. Happy birthday, Janine. I just don't know if uh, the bars are open there in the great state of Texas. Uh, you'll have to let me know. All right. I think I commented in my last video that uh, Chris from Another Cut Above had done a, he was doing a cool series on uh, lathering like Ken Surfs or lathering like Sinatra Lenning or Lenning, but someone said they, he might have took his videos down. Man, I thought that video was funny. I took no offense in that, my friend. Some of you were commenting, I guess, I guess maybe they, you thought he was poking fun at me and I think you were sticking up for me and I, I do appreciate that. But, oh, that guy's a good buddy. I'm uh, one of the moderators on his Facebook site, as I said, a, a great guy. I hope you didn't take it down. I thought it was funny. <laughs> this... A little thicker in a shorter period of time. There, you guys like that? You like that? Make it like a whipped cream, huh? I find it clogs my blades or my razors. If I have too thick, uh, it just clogs these. Too thick of a cream on there. So, all right, I'm going to go slow and I may cut the hell out of myself. But first of all, Soap smells good. I don't smell the frankincense or the patchouli, but I do smell the cedarwood. It smells very good. Made in the USA. Someone asked where the last soap I did use from Global Shave Club was from, but not positive. Uh, I don't think it's said. Very slick. Let's see how we do against the beast. The beast fully loaded. That's what I like to feel. One pass. This can be your friend or this can be your enemy. But if you've got one in your shaved in and you know how to master it, it can be your daily driver. Well, what an interesting turn of events. I'm actually working from home uh, 
we were allowed to telecommute. So uh, earlier today, I was on a, actually in a training class that the Federal Highway Administration was putting on. So I was logged into the laptop and had the headphones on. Eight hour class, very interesting. I appreciate the fact that my company was letting us work from home if we could. To avoid, you know, One guy coughed on our floor and people lit up like crazy. One of my bosses, one of my friends, went to the same high school as I did. Uh, he's a boss younger than me. He had tickets to go to Italy. Left, <laughs> I think it was not last Friday, but the Friday before. He had two weeks in Italy and one week in Germany. And we said, hey man, you might want to think against that. Oh, no, don't want to lose the deposits on the hotel. Went, they closed the country down. Somehow he made it out of Italy into Germany. And I believe Germany's closed down. So no more flights to the United States. So I don't know how he's getting back here. And if he does, I think he's under a mandatory quarantine. So, oh. And I was worried about missing Disneyland. Dude, you should not have went. But... I've seen a lot. Y2K, swine flu, uh, was it the bird flu, the mad cow disease, herpes panic, AIDS panic. But this is, I've never seen anything like this. So hopefully we all get through it and all you guys are healthy. Let me know how it is. Oh, check this out. This was today. The shelves. Nothing, no, toilet paper, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, gone. You'd figure it'd be booze and uh, <laughs> frozen dinners. Nope. So, oh man. I could 1000% stop right now. This is almost BBS. Your soap held up to the beast. It tamed the beast, folks at Heritage Hill. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little more water to this. I'm going to do another pass with the Mula. Mule. Mule. I call it Mula. Mule. I'm being corrected a lot of times. The brush you've seen me use before. It's a really nice fiber brush. And I go to the Mule uh, USA site. Uh, they have... In fact, I picked up... Uh, I picked up that handle. They they sold me the handle alone, which was nice because I had an extra. Somebody said, hey, I can't use this head. You know, R41 cuts me. I don't want it. I bought it off them and I bought the matching uh, handle there. So now I've got two of these bad boys. Flat tire caught in a rainstorm. Ah, they're worse. <laughs> worse things. Glad I didn't get a cold. Got drowned, man. That lady in the, uh, went into the dermatologist. Not one, not one person in the waiting room. Nobody. They check your temperature when you go in. No fever. I was okay to proceed. Oh. She had that. If you ever been to the dermatologist, they have this, like, uh, spray can, liquid nitrogen. And, and you know, they, they, they hit you. It freezes any potential skin cancers. Then it heals up good. They hit me here. Here you can still see maybe the scab. They hit me several places and they said, oh, we're so sorry, you know, we're hitting you with all of this because you got that English skin. And I go, I'd rather have a scar or a burn than skin cancer. So again, it's your PSA, guys. Big Shave West was canceled. All sporting events canceled. Wow, basketball final four. Whew, never seen anything like this. I hear the Premier League in England is uh, canceled and uh, the Euro uh, soccer or football leagues. Man, let me know. I'm really curious to know. 
I did hear though from a, a friend of mine in Fort Worth. He says everything's shut, but gas is a buck seventy-five a gallon. I, I don't know. <laughs> gas has come down in California. We're probably the highest in the nation, and it's like, uh, what is it, two ninety-nine, two eighty-five, somewhere around there. How is it where you are? Let's see. All right, that is truly the most aggressive combo I have in the shaved end. That blade and that razor. If you don't believe me, you try it. You'll know. If you know that razor and you know that blade, you'll know that's an aggressive combo. And this is the first time. And I got scars and scabbed all over from that burning. No cuts. Your show pulls up, Heritage Hill people. Way to go. Take a, take a look at it. it. You've seen it. That's why I love doing these videos this way. Because if I cut the hell out of me, as I've done with some other soaps that I've never used again, uh, you get to see it. And you get to know firsthand. All right. For the gentleman who requested the British Sterling, here we go. My wife hates this. So I'm doing you a solid, my friend. I'm going to hear that this smells terrible. I'm going to just get nagged all night. So the stuff I do for this channel. I think the R41 takes the top layer of your skin off, too. BBS, two pass. Yeah. Hell, I might have, if I didn't have this channel, I'd be using that every day this week. All right, that combo. Hey, you guys, seriously, though, stay safe. Uh, we're going through a weird, weird time. You know, forget the zombie apocalypse. It's a, apocalypse, it's the COVID-19 COVID apocalypse. Stay healthy. Hopefully it passes. Hopefully if you're sick, if you're sick, if you've had it and you've recovered, I'd love to hear from you, you know, because some people get it. They have mild symptoms and it doesn't affect them. You know that if you if you know anybody who's had it, really, I, I read all your comments and, and it's my way of getting out into the world and finding out what's going on everywhere. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, thank you for watching the channel. Uh, terrible times. Uh, but you get to stay in the house and kind of, you know, catch up on uh, television. Uh, you just can't go to the movies. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much. And but bottom line of this video, stay safe. Okay. Stay healthy. We'll see you again real soon.